I picked this book up at Barnes and Noble. Uh, it was not on sale, but it was a little cheap. Uh, Dark Knights of Steel. It's like medieval Batman. I really liked it. It was really cool. And this is only volume one. Uh, it was like 15 bucks. Um, I don't know. It was really cool, except I don't know. I don't know the whole plot. All right, spoilers. If you're, if you're going to think about reading this, uh, I'm going to spoil the shit out of it. Just, just so you know, um, I really liked it. It was cool. So it ta essentially takes Batman and throws Superman's parents into medieval times instead of modern day times. And uh, they essentially fall down to earth, live in a hut in the woods. Then a volcano is going to erupt. So they save a whole city. And then the king and queen get blasted by medieval Lex Luthor. So they, uh, their dying wish is to make the Kal-El's uh, parents uh, king and queen. So they have Superman and, well, they raise Superman. And then they have uh, Supergirl. And she goes off to uh, mess around with Wonder Woman. Um, but it was cool. Uh, Lex Luthor essentially was a advisor to the court who did not believe that the volcano was going to erupt. So he got kicked out of the kingdom when it did and then became a bad guy. He found some kryptonite. Oh, no, he's like Green Lantern in this. Lex Luthor's Green Lantern is zapping people with like green whatever. Um... I'm not sure if it's like a Krypton, a Kryptonite style Green Lantern ring or something, but he like shoots Superman's dad in the eyeball and kills him with an arrow. Uh, I didn't know that was a thing. Or maybe Green Lantern stuff just pierces uh, Kryptonians. I don't know what the deal is. But anyway, so ba uh, plot twist. Batman is instead of uh, the Wayne's child, he's... Uh, Dark Knight of Steel. I don't know. It's just Dark Knights. Dark Knights of Steel. Uh, Bruce Wayne is like the illegitimate child, illegitimate prince child of uh, uh, the king and queen that can't have kids and Superman's dad. So he's like half Superman's dad, half uh, prince to the king. Um, and the kingdom knows about it, so they don't want him to be king. So they make uh, Superman's parents kings and tell them that once Bruce is going to be accepted, that, that he can be king. But um, he's got, like, Superman powers in this one, sort of. They gave Batman, like, Superman powers, I guess, so he could hold his own. But he hasn't, like, developed them yet because he's only half Kryptonian, I guess, technically. Um, there's another kingdom that just uses magic. And uh, the Kal-El family is... Uh, they're not the Kal-El family. They're just the L family, right? I don't know how the Kryptonian naming system works. Anyway, um, the art's really good. Let me see if I can find a good page. I really liked Harley Quinn in this. She's like an a advisor slash court jester. There's no Joker. Um, she mostly just picks on Batman, which I find kind of funny. Because he needs to get picked on more. Um, there's like a panel that suggests that the Joker is the Green Lantern magic person messing everything up, but there's like an earlier panel that definitely straight up shows Lex Luthor, like zapping people with the Green Lantern thing. It's House of L, so it's just L. All right, that's what I thought. All right. Um... Anyway, so Superman's dad gets shot in the face with like a green arrow answer, a green arrow, green arrow arrow, I guess, <laughs> uh, charged up by like Lex Luthor's green lantern ring. So it pierces his skin and his eyeball. Um, so then Supergirl or a person who looks like Super Supergirl goes to murder the son of another kingdom, a prince of another kingdom. And then they're all about to go to war. Uh, Harley Quinn goes to Poison Ivy in the woods. And Poison Ivy just hits on her the whole time. It's kind of funny. Um, I don't know. Harley Quinn in this is pretty pretty nice. She's funny. Uh, well drawn. The faces are all different and unique and well drawn. I, I even like the way they drew like young Batman and young Superman. And this is pretty funny. 
young and handsome without actually looking obnoxious. Yeah, it's cool. Uh, Superman, at one point, after Bruce tells him, hey, I'm your half-brother, he stabs him in the heart with a kryptonite and <laughs> throws him into the ground, uh, which I was not expecting from Superman, but I guess he wasn't raised by, you know, people in the Midwest that are kind-hearted. He was instead raised as a prince. Maybe he's, his personality is supposed to be different. I don't know. It just felt weird. It felt weird seeing Superman stab somebody. <laughs> um, I'm trying to find like another good panel to show you guys. Uh, Constantine is working for the opposing kingdom and he summons demons. Such as an actual demon and then Raish al Ghul also summons him from hell <laughs> to come like resurrect some people that super, I guess, Supergirl super or fake duper Supergirl weenie. murdered. I don't know. It's funny. Um... Ra's al Ghul is a snake, like usual, which I appreciate. Um, oh yeah, Superman gets stabbed. I thought they weren't supposed to be allowed to get stabbed. It's like bl it's some blonde Constantine. It's not. I wish it was Keanu Reeves. That would be cool. Nah, it's some weird, some weird. I guess comic book version of Constantine or something. He's some short hair blonde guy. Um, what is this? I thought Superman wasn't allowed to get stabbed. How come his dad gets shot in the head with an arrow? Uh, you hate that, Constantine? Oh, that's disappointing. He has a very, very small role in this. What is this? I thought Superman couldn't get stabbed. I thought his skin, like, deflects stuff. But here he is getting stabbed by, like, some Wonder Woman uh, sword. Get stabbed, nerd. <laughs> I thought that wasn't a thing. Like, so I'm confused about the green lantern arrow that shot superman's dad i don't know why that works i guess i don't know how green lantern and superman interact because i've never like heard of that before i don't know and yeah that's it so superman gets stabbed and captured by the wonder woman army who's siding with the magicians who are thought to have killed superman's dad there's some really nice like alternate cover art like i really like these Look at Harley Quinn there. Isn't she adorable? <laughs> and then this panel is probably my favorite. Just Batman with a sword makes me laugh. That's pretty good. This book was cool. I gave it five out of five. It was enjoyable. I'm going to look for volume two uh, if I see it. Oh, here's a Joker as a sh uh, uh, charging knight on a horse with uh, Joker armor on the horse. Nice city you can become. <laughs> you can become. <laughs> Um, Keanu Constantine is a shitty version. Oh, I like I like Constantine the movie. I don't think of it as a DC movie. I don't know anything about the character. So, was that a Wayne Reels joint? What's Wayne Reels? What's Wayne? I don't know what Wayne Reynolds Wayne Reynolds is. The, vi the video clip? You could just type come in the chat. <laughs> It'll come up. <laughs> uh, yeah, these like alternate panels were all like pretty well drawn. I like Batman with a sword. I think that's, that's, that's just funny to me. Oh, the artist? No, this is um, Tom Taylor, Yasmin Putri, Bengal, Arif, and Prianto. Three people. Wait, no. Maybe it's Arif Prianto. But Bengal is a singular, singular name. All right, hold on. There's there's alternate credits for some of these drawings. Uh, Wonder Woman here is Joshua Middleton. Batman here is Dan Mora. Uh, there's Town Square Batman on a bat horse by Alan Qua. Batman on a throne by Kale Nyu. Joker was Arif Prianto and Arif Prianto, two versions. J.G. Jones for Batman behind some lightning or in front of some lightning. Uh, Viking Batman is Gabrielle Deliotto. Holly Quinn, Carla Cohen. Oh, yeah, Wayne Reynolds. Hey, you're right. That one's Wayne Reynolds. Nice eye. Nice eye. I like it. 
the one from the Arrowverse one is pretty spot on. Are you talking about like that Green Arrow show? I didn't know Constantine was uh, related to Green Arrow. Yasmin Putri, Joshua Middleton, Batman on a horse. I like that armor. Look at that bat armor. Why can't they put that in Elden Ring? <laughs> bat armor. <laughs> uh, Harley Quinn singing on a lute. I get this. That's just by the comic book artist. Uh, hold on. Who else is in here? Mahmoud Asrar. Uh, Supergirl with a rapier sword. Joshua Middleton. A.G. Curry did this lovely Poison Ivy and Harley Quinn variant cover. I like those faces. That's pretty good. I wonder who they used for reference. Yeah, this book was sick. Uh, five out of five. I really liked it. Oh, here's a green arrow, Joshua Middleton. And Bengal for the House of L. Yeah, I feel like um, they did a good job kind of like not giving you all the plot in volume one. So I really want to read volume two, but I also feel like that's a little sneaky. <laughs> it's 15 bucks a book. That's a little much for me, but uh, maybe I'll see it on sale or something. Um, yeah, anyway, Dark Knights of Steel. Five out of five. Highly recommend. Um... Maybe if they put out a cheap compendium. Maybe don't get it volume by volume because I feel like uh, it's a little pricey. <laughs> but the art's really nice. Like, especially all the faces they drew. Really, really nice. I, 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 sometimes I'll start following a Twitter artist. And then, like, there, there have been a couple in the past. I'll follow a Twitter artist that draws a lot of fan art. And all their faces look the same. For some reason, I've had a couple artists like that where, like, they don't differentiate different faces. I guess they use, like, the same references, maybe? I don't know. But sometimes the faces all look kind of samey. But the faces in this were really... Kind of really well done. It's cool. Alright, you know what, Josh? I'm going to add... Uh, is it Green Arrow? The show? I'll add that to my list of things to watch. Anyway. Dark Knights of Steel. 5 out of 5. Oh, you want to borrow something? You can come borrow something. That's fine by me. It's just called Arrow. Okay. All right. Hold on. That's not the right window. Where's my... Make me a smaller person. Thank you. 